Okay, so we're back with our model. We've done our texturing and now we've built our shader. So right now I've already built the shader because it's actually super simple. And we don't really need to me to do step by step. I'll just show you what I did. Uh, and this is kind of the result we got. With almost no tweaks, to be honest. Um, very small amount of tweaks, but other than that, um, it's, it's looking all right for... Um, Obviously, I, I, I textured this as sort of like a a, a non-hero sort of asset. So, at a certain level, I think I'm feeling it's looking pretty good at this sort of distance. It's looking pretty realistic to me. Um, obviously, the closer we get in, the sort of more things we're going to pick out and probably see more of the mistakes that I have made or missed. But like I said, this is there's no editing on this this is just a straight up render this is exactly what we're getting out so like it was never textured to be like we're gonna see it this close because that's crazy close that's like super hero textures in some places it looks all right some places not so great like um some of these bumps are a bit we need to sort of change where those bumps are but other than that i'm feeling it's a pretty good result for what an hour and a half's work um, like I say, you're never gonna, unless you're doing it for Hero, you're probably gonna spend more time, like, you're probably gonna spend like a week or so on it to make it look real nice. Um, if I'm honest, is I'm actually quite surprised how well this looks, just straight out of the box. So, I'll just go, so that is just the Arnold render view. Uh, apologies for my scene. I've just been using the same scene. I've not really tidied it up, so um, meh, it is what it is. You can tidy it up. Probably should tidy it up, but I'm just going to open up my Hypershade. And if you've never used this before, um, like I say, I'm also using it on a very simple level as well. So we've got our AI surface. So if you wanted to make a standard surface, you'd literally just go to the left and click on AI standard surface and magic look you've made it and all I've done now is just gone tab file and you can bring in your texture and you bring in your texture through this spot here I'm not going to do it again because it's it's super basic so say that I've brought this in and this is my base color, as you can see here. And I'll bring in my um, textures through here. You can see it's all here and it's created TX files. Um, the only thing that you do need to change is if you're using UDIMs, you need to change it on the UV tiling mode on the UDIM Mari so it reads all the UDIMs. Then pretty much, I put my base color going into base color. <laughs> I have got my roughness map of the UDIM. I have added a remap, and this basically means that I can change the specular a little bit. And you can see I've changed it in here. Just a remap value, and we'll see what that does when I'm in a minute. Um, but the most important thing you can see is that I'm actually using the out color R for this into the input value and going into the spec roughness. And same here, loading up the metallic, selecting the out R. And going into metalness, the height or bump, same here with um, Mari, creating a bump 2D node, so that's just like tab, bump, and there are multiple ones in here, I've just used the basic one, and I have changed the bump depth on this actually to 0 0.8, and you can, um, you can switch these out if you want, so I could actually bring in a file texture because I just realized I haven't actually used my normal so I'll just bring that in textures where it is normal it's here somewhere I'm just so blind normal I'll change that to Udamari i change this to color space raw. Uh, uh, 
out color, that's the bump value. Uh, I think I actually need to use a uh, normal for this. Oh no, it's bump 3D. I can't remember, it's been a while. Um, And then you can plug it into your uh, normal camera. So that's pretty much it. I've not really done a huge amount. Um, on this one, I made a separate one for the tip because I was getting a slightly, I wasn't getting it how I wanted. So I just made the shader again. You can mask it, but for me, because it's a separate model, I did just duplicate it and reassign this to that. And just tweaked it separately. Um, there's not really a huge amount to really say about it, um, other than it works pretty good out of the box. Um, let's try a normal camera. I'm actually going to save this because I haven't saved it in a while. But it's pretty simple. Um, I haven't really done a huge amount to it, basically. I've just plugged in the maps and that's just me showing you how to do it, basically. There wasn't anything uh, too super complicated with it. Um, I'm using the HDRI that I made with the project right at the start, so you can also use that. Or just grab one from HDRI Haven. Um, so. I'm just going to save that image as well. So I'll probably use it for the thumbnail. Maybe. Um, this mic gets in the way. Oh, why is it not typing? Flame. I'm just call it Flamey XL. We'll go right and we can edit it afterwards. Because I think in, I actually forgot, because in the normal we used some filters which are primarily normal based. Let's see if, that makes a difference. And it's gonna build those TX files. You know what is I think it was made of actually I wish that I had do you know what? Let's um let's undo that because I want to plug that back in. Sorry, and I'm gonna render that. Um, these are like rendering at UHD, so um, so I wanted a nice fancy renderer, but um, you don't have to. Um, I'm gonna stop that. And I always forget about snapshot. So I'm going to take a snapshot here. And that's like taking a snapshot of that. Nothing uh, crazy. And I'm just going to re-plug that back in. And... Okay. 
I think there is a subtle difference between it. I think the, the normal does bring stuff to the table. It's possibly a bit nicer than the bump, if I'm honest. Like at this level, we're probably going a bit too deep into it, but um, it would be good to compare because I, honestly, it seemed so it it seemed alright out the box. I didn't bother even checking. But, um, it just reminded me we do have filters which actually work mostly with the normal. So it basically seems exactly the same. Apart from maybe the bump is a little bit more harsher. Not like you can see, you can see some of our extra details in here with the paint and some of the top level details going through. So I am probably gonna actually I don't know, you can sort of, uh, mix them, but I am not going to bother. But, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, and I'll probably render it off again and use that for the thumbnail. So, I'll just, so we've got our bump 2D, and like I said, it's, it's so simple. I haven't really done a huge amount. And, like, I, I have the remap value on here, and you can see where I've changed it. And it's such a small detail, it's it's almost nothing, but um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to really say about that, it's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, I've probably got to talk too long. Anyway, so um, hope you've enjoyed that. We've kind of finished our um, flamethrower, um, and maybe we'll do a turntable for it and figure out how to present it in its best possible way. So thanks for watching, um, hope it's been useful. Um, and see you in the next one.